What up? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the show. Welcome to our live show. Live Comic comics Saturday. Yeah. yeah, what's up? What's up? Hey, we hope you guys are doing good tonight. Uh, welcome on this Saturday. Mm-hmm. We have, let's see, we got Lon. We've got... Uh, got Spine Ticks. Spine Ticks. We got Wookie Fodder. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate you guys showing up on a Saturday. Uh, the warm, the official Spine Ticks warm-up show. Oh, Test Echo, what's going on, man? What is going on? Yeah, it is... Uh, for those that are not aware, we we've had a we've we've had a a, a, a season here in Alaska in yeah. in a week and a half. We have uh, the most snow that Alaska has had in over twenty years in the last two weeks. Over fifty inches. Hmm. What's that? Uh, over fifty uh, inches. Over oh, we 50 got Kevin inches. up in here. What's up? Yeah, over fifty inches. I'm just saying, it's a lot. It's a yeah. lot. Yeah, the, uh, um, I mean, luckily, we were able to get guys, uh, well, we were able to get a good friend of ours who has a plow truck to actually clean up our driveway. Yeah. Because uh, th there was no way, the, no, no shovel, no, no snow blower was going to uh, not that. Not my 40-year-old no. ass is not out shoveling that much. Like, I'm sorry. I did, as you guys all saw, I did shovel two different pathways for our dog because the snow is four times his size at a minimum yeah. and uh if we would not have just got his balls cut off i would totally go throw him in the snow and just see him be like what the hell <laughs> um because i'm that nice i'm that nice um yeah no it is exactly we got dumped on it was 50 the the type of 50 inches you don't pay for and uh <laughs> or you don't pay for i guess or you do you pay for it in ways that you don't want I guess is the best way to say that. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's been crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. With the, just between the snow and then, but wait, there's more. It got super cold today mm -hmm. and last night. So it was a little bit below zero last night. And today it's, uh, it's warmed up to a whopping four degrees outside. And uh, it's supposed, we're supposed to have a windstorm. So, oh joy! Oh, here's a uh, here's Yay. you uh, uh, with uh, the pup. Oh, oh, what the? Oh hell? wait, maybe not. Oh, did not work. There's the music, but not the video. Let's try this again. Wait for it. Oh, oh why is it not working? Here, hold sad on. Sad face. Sad face. Here, hold on. I was like, I'm pretty sure every, they might have seen it, but now we got to figure out how to make the music stop. <laughs> We gotta wait for it to stop now. Oh no. Yeah. Well okay, that okay, hold on. You know, if is it really a YouTube stream for Magus if we don't have some random stuff? Okay. Hey Marvin. Go. Hey, what's going on? Okay, hold on a sec, man. Wait, I, I really do wanna show this thing. So here, let's try if I go like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then No one then. Now let's try it. Ready? There we go. So, for those that don't know, I am five foot eight. So that snow is oh, and my drink on the porch. <laughs> um, so that snow comes up to my mid chest area. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, it has been digging out that it's just not been fun it's no. not been fun like no it, it does remind me of my childhood because growing up in alaska this is the type of snow that you used to get right. and we like the type where we could when we had to go shovel off the roof you just jumped off the roof into the ground and you didn't worry about breaking your legs so this is what i'm used to i just uh i've been, been very spoiled because it hasn't it's been a minute since we've had this much and so it's different as an adult, like, cause we don't, I don't do winter sports anymore. I'm bougie. Like I, I don't like being cold. Like they didn't tell me when I lost weight that, Hey, by the way, you're going to be cold all the time. <laughs> and so I don't, I don't want to go do winter sports anymore. 
Like, unless it's drinking a hot toddy, like, I don't, I don't want to do it. So uh, let, let's talk a little bit about the the crazy market right now. You know, you, you've got a, a, a friend from Keep It Thorough that's been a, a really murking the the the, uh, the hype market. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, he's been talking about, like, for instance, like this M&M cover. This has been like the talk of the town. I don't know if you know, know this or not. This is the M&M cover. Okay. For those of you that don't know, this cover came comes out. It's released on Eminem's website. Is the way I understood it, mm. and it was within minutes of them posting it, all the bots jumped on there, purchased all these books, and now these books are being sold upwards of a thousand dollars and Jesus. more. Jesus, and uh, you know, I think you guys are all. Uh, if you could give someone an advice, what would it be? Um, are we talking for like Alaska? Hmm. Are we talking about the shop? Are we talking about business owner? Like what, what, uh, context of that question? I'm assuming it means for shop ownership or starting a shop. I don't um, probably don't. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it is, uh, look, well, you know, we, we keep it real with you guys. Like with the snow, we're laughing about it, but we've literally been closed down three or four days. Between yeah. the last, you know, week and a half, and that that is devastating for a small business. Yeah, that definitely hurt us. Uh, uh, it it is, hurt every business. Uh, it is. It hurt us for sure. Because not only are we closed down, then on top of that, people are still waiting to get dug out of their houses. Yeah. So you, you figure you lose you lose revenue because now uh, people are uh, paying for plow trucks. Yeah. They're having to you know do all these different things. So they don't have enough money for this. M&M and I'm not cover. I'm not I'm not milk. I'm not the electric bill. Yeah. So you know that is one of those things. Like you you need to really do your research on if if this is about a, starting a shop, which I'm assuming that's what your question is. Um, really do your market research to see what kind of, you know, demand you have and on how you can supplement for days that you don't have foot traffic. Yeah, cuz the bills come no matter what. Yeah, they but... don't they don't care. The bills are going to show up. But okay, so okay. here we go. Sorry, we digress. Uh, Back uh, to this. Back to shit talking. I mean, so, not so, shit talking. So you got the M&M cover, overpriced. Mhm. If you're going to spend that kind of money, if you're going to spend a thousand bucks on this one, you could just donate half of that to us and you can get the kevin m cover absolutely yeah because the kevin look m i'll cover. even give you guys a deal 4.99 yeah that's that is over 50 percent off i mean it's like 50.1 but still yeah this is called the kevin m that's the kevin m i the like kevin it m variant i think he's gonna destroy that guy too just so you know like yeah 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 because he... yeah, yeah. you see kevin you know head down smiling he's ready yeah he getting ready he this ready might be, this might be the hottest cover out right now. i mean it is absolutely if you guys don't jump on this you're missing out this is the this is the cover that you want to go for oh yeah 100 percent. yeah and you know like i said for 4.99 and, and and I don't mean four dollars and ninety nine cent. I mean four hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents and ninety nine cents. Hundred uh, percent. We will we will print that book for you. Yeah yeah I, yeah. I, I it will. is the better cover. Yeah, I think so. So I you know so. the Kevin M. It gives it really that you know. Uh, the raw emotion. That look raw Kevin, emotion. Like, he like, getting ready to spit bars. He getting ready to destroy him. Well, you could tell because like B Rabbit is doing his thing, and Eminem's just smiling there. Kevin M is just smiling. Yeah, there Kevin M it. is like, I, I say what you're gonna say. Like you could take, like if you ever see a rapper smile like that, mm -hmm. you know they're about to spit bars. Well, it's kind of like when a woman starts to like laugh in the middle of an argument. Like you know you're getting ready to die. Like you just know that oh oh that that happened. That's kind of the same pre pre precipice there. So I'm just saying. <laughs> 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 the nervous laugh. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, yeah, I think it is absolutely. Uh, it's very interesting that this is what people are, you know, going. Well, well nuts anything, over. Any, anything that's made to be. But uh, again, rare. it's the shiny new toy, and then you have certain people that hype these books up, not because there's, you know, for me. I'm not saying it's bad cover. I like the cover. I would even pay upwards of like 10, maybe 15 bucks for that cover. Mm -hmm. But it's not. That's it's, not a $1,000 book. No, well, it, 
Are you going to... How many copies did they print? I mean, that's my question. It looks no, like it's a... No, it doesn't know, it look like it was that many copies. But uh, does anybody know if that book had actually been signed by Eminem? What, uh, did each book I mean, with a signature signed? from Eminem, it's going to be worth quite a bit more, but... No, but that's the point. Were they signed? I don't think they were. If no, they were, but it that, probably that wasn't it because it's that whole FOMO stuff. But that's a Marvel book, and there's a minimum print. I mean, granted, they don't have to sell all that they have, but if it's a Marvel book, there's a minimum printing. This is my point. Like, it's not like it. It's not like it's a hundred copies only, unless they chose not to. Or you could be like other places that are like, "Oh, we didn't print this many," but then we randomly showed up to another con with more copies. So you know what? You just reminded me. Um, here's the other thing. Uh, Did I spit knowledge? No, not a uh, no. I mean, but you remind me. Uh, so we had a customer come in today, or uh, not today, but he came in just recently. Um, he very giving customer. As a matter of fact, uh. uh It'll lead into the next thing that we're going to uh, talk about, about the spirit of giving. But he, very generous customer, and he was asking about his books that we sent off to CBCS almost six, seven months ago. We still don't have them, mm -hmm. Wes, his books. Mm -hmm. We still haven't received them from CBCS, but yet CBCS continues to announce all these signings. And I'm like, well, yeah. how about you not do the in-house signing until you get everybody their damn book back from over six months ago? Right. I think that'd be cool. Did we log in and see where if they've said they've even touched them? Or? Uh, I'm just curious. Yeah, I'm going to need to uh, take a look here yeah. uh, in a um, little bit. Apparently, now again, Sith, I don't know the truth to this, but apparently that book was released online, possibly on Eminem's website. No, uh, that's the way I understand it. I, I was going to say that's the way we understand it. I don't, I don't have confirmation of it, is what I'm saying. That's the way I understand it, though. Um, but again, my my point being that a thousand dollars for a book that the, the, that nobody no. could get except for yeah, you know, a very select few. But okay, we digress on that. Yeah, but so, the giving spirit. Uh, a negative would be the CBCS and CGC delays that are out of control right now. But they CBC. are and there aren't because then you see other people who are like, I got my book back in 33 days. No, but CBCS legit lo lost people's books when they oh. moved from their... Uh, yeah, from one I, warehouse I to the other. They moved from the McAllen uh, warehouse to another one. And, yeah, yeah, Clan McDonald, um, they lost a massive uh, order of his, like several hundred books but then come to find out that you had people grading from home mm -hmm. and so for me i was like okay even with some of the bullshit covid stuff i don't know how i would feel about someone like taking those books home like they're what what's the quality control there in regards to like, do you have kids? Do you have pets? Is there anyone that's going to have actual access to these books? Like, mm -hmm. like, is it a clean, not sterile, but is it a clean facility, you know, that, that you're grading these at? Like The grading at home thing didn't sit well with a lot of people. No, it would Especially make me nervous. Look, if I had a, now granted, it's not something I'm going to, you know, probably send off to cbcs yeah, very depending but if i had like a af15 and someone's greeting that at their house i'm gonna be pissed mm -hmm. that better be in the most controlled freaking area ever you know i i want to make sure that it is it is done correctly i want to make sure that there's you know there's monitoring there's checks and balances with who has their hands on the books you know and this that, and the other which is why they were able yeah exactly lon do you smoke in the house do you have some it, there's so many things did you spill your coffee because we're human and, you know, all this other stuff. Anyway, I just think that it was for them to lose all those books. They were that's trying. That's a lot of books they lost. Yeah, and that's my thing. You lost that many books and you had these were high dollar books. And you were moving from one facility to the other and you can easily say it gets lost. I Look, I'd be checking the internet going, oh, who's selling these? Yeah. Well, who, who pocketed these while they were grading from home? I, I'm making an assumption. I don't know if that's true or not, but I also is, yeah. <laughs> Uncanny, yeah, you're just fine. A little, just, just a little bit. Just, you know, just 50 inches. It's cool. We can take it. <laughs> so here we go. Um, we want to do a, a, a special shout out to Glass Frontier. Glass Frontier. The Glass Frontier. The Glass Frontier. Uh, they're veteran-owned. And they donated 
custom lighting, not just to our house, but to the shop. Mm-hmm. And they legit installed uh, 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 the color coded Christmas lights in front of uh, in, in front of our shop. Uh, here's a picture of it this morning. Um, oh, that was the day. Oh, oh, did he come by this morning? Uh, no, I. Oh, I, I took a picture of that's this morning. This morning. Oh, it's nice. Really cool, you know. It's our it's colors. Nothing, it's nothing crazy, but it's our colors. But it gives and a he pop. Donated it. Yeah, to he us. donated that to us along with the ones at our house. Yeah, and you know, uh, man, treasure that forever. You forever know? and ever. And that's just a random act of kindness, which I thought was super awesome. Yeah, he didn't have to do that. Uh, he did not charge us for anything on that. He just did it. Yeah, and it just, uh, 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 yeah, it was very humbling to see mm-hmm. that. It, um, and just a super nice guy who you know, hard worker, and we just absolutely appreciate him. If you guys are in Alaska and you need any form of lighting or if you need your roof shoveled off or anything else, they are doing that. And um, the owner's name is Zach. He is a wonderful human. Please go hit them up. Um, the Glass Frontier is absolutely awesome. <laughs> Tony Montana got to snow it all day. There was a video that you shared with me some guy like it's pure and he's like snorting the snow off of oh, his Oh, with like a. Uh, it was like a wrapping paper roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. was acting. He was like, "It's pure, guys." <laughs> it's pure, guys. It's pure. And he was snorting it off of a car hood. Yeah. But yeah, this guy, uh, the Glass Frontier, he does snow removal off of roofs, which is big right now. Yeah. You have, I think most roofs are rated to like four feet of snow or something. Mm-hmm. So anything over four feet, you've got to get that stuff off. Uh, oh yeah. The roof, and you also have to make sure that your vents aren't being covered because that's a big problem that's happening all of a sudden. Because you'll have a. They're completely well, you know, some, covered, yeah. Yeah, you're going to have your carbon your, monoxide Yeah, carbon so monoxide. Not only that, you're going to want the vents for, like, your fans and your restrooms and stuff like that. You want that stuff to work. Yeah. So. And then so. If you guys hear anything in the background, um, my mother is visiting, and she's playing with our dog right now. So if you're hearing anything, that's what that is. Um, just they, FYI. They got, to, they got to do their thing, man. Oh, this dog acts like I am chopped liver now that Grandma's here. I... I get nothing. It's ridiculous. Don't get me wrong. I also am capitalizing on my extra time with my mom because I missed my mommy. So so the other thing that we want to talk about was um, uh, we're going to do it this week. Uh, starting today, and Kevin is taking lead on it, but uh, uh, we have a, a little tree up at the shop. And anyone that it can't afford a Christmas gift... Anyone that can't afford to uh, put a Christmas gift under the tree, we are going to be wrapping uh, comic book themed gifts and they will be sitting at the shop. They are available to anyone. There's that, no questions. Uh, yeah, no questions asked. Anyone who comes by, you know, you, you, you're hard on your luck. You can't, uh, you can't afford to get a gift under the tree this year. We got you. Uh, yeah. we'll have we'll have those at the shop and uh like i said no strings attached you come no by grab attached. one yeah just grab and, one and, and no uh, bring it home to the kids look it has been a incredibly rough year for a lot of people there is no shame in accepting yeah. it was very hard for me to accept the gift from the glass frontier i don't receive gifts well I give very well. I don't receive well. And he had to kind of call me out on it. Like, allow me to give this to you because it was giving him joy. Um, Please know that we especially understand how rough times can be. And there is no shame. There is no blame. We just want to make sure that people don't have that anxiety. You don't have that stress. You don't Mm -hmm. have any of that stuff that's going to, um, you know, make make we want to make things if we can even the smallest bit easier we have a memorial to go to next week of a friend that we lost way too early and i am going to tell everyone right now once again it is the holidays check on your people yep. it is incredibly important even if all it is is a text message that says hey man thinking about you love you happy holidays merry christmas whatever or if you know you have a friend that you're just absolutely a smart ass with just be like yo asshole you know what's up the end like just having the smallest amount of connection with people makes the biggest change 
And especially for people that are out there struggling, knowing that people are thinking about them can make a bigger difference than a lot of people realize. So just to capitalize on what, you know, we were talking about in regards to, you know, having issues and, you know, coming by the shop and getting presents if you need them. Again, uh, the National uh, Suicide Hotline is 988. That is the crisis suicide hotline. It is the crisis suicide hotline. 988. And if we're, we're trying to make sure people look and know about that information because it is newer it, it only launched about a month ago i think or maybe maybe a little bit before no, that it was, it, yeah but it's been it, it's pretty new yeah it's pretty so, new for sure yeah, um, make sure share that with people yeah for sure um you know because and and again if anyone knows anyone in alaska that like i said needs a help reaching out for anything please get a hold of us b if you need a gift to put under the tree if you need something come let us know you know, we're going to have wrap gifts, no questions, no shame, no nothing. Just all, all we ask is that you come in and you don't even really need to smile at us. Just, you know, look in our general direction. It's fine. <laughs> so we know you're not stealing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all we ask. Don't steal, but, you know, <laughs> that's it. But, uh, yeah, so we, uh, we will have wrap gifts available uh, throughout the week for uh, people that um, need something, mm-hmm. you know. Absolutely. And... That's that. So and no, we're not going to do the uh, uh, we're not going to do the the uh, clickbait. We're we're not going to videotape you while you're taking the oh, gift. We're no. not going to do any of that stuff. No, we're not never. Use, we're not going to use you for thumbs ups or anything. Just come get the gift. And uh, but if don't I worry but if there's it. someone with a Grinch costume that wants to come and do like a parody with us about him yeah, stealing shit from that. us, that yeah, would be yeah. hilarious. And yeah. we will record that. Yeah, that will record. But uh, uh, other than that, guys, um, especially so if Kevin got new? out like the the Thor hammer and like got him with the Thor hammer or something, yeah. that shit would be hilarious. So what else is new? We have uh, the um, we did the coffee with veterans this morning. Mm-hmm. Um, weather was it was super cold. It was like negative twenty in some spots of the valley. So it wasn't the biggest showing, but we still had our our core group that showed up and. Uh, we just want to make sure that uh, the, the vets out here know that you can come out anytime. Yep. Come get your, your cup of coffee. Get your questions answered yep. by the local professionals You know, at the vet center. I even had a, a local lender show up uh, who was prepared to answer questions on uh, you know, if you have bad credit or whatever and you still want to have the American dream of owning a home, he was available as well. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Ryan Berry from Amp Mortgage, he was at oh, the nice. shop. So uh, we're going to try to make him a regular at our events. Uh, no sales pitches, no nothing. Just there to answer questions. You don't even have to use them. He, he's not going to sit there uh, uh, trying to force you to get anything from him. He's just there to answer questions. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah no if you slip and fall uh we, we'll yeah. ask you if you're okay after we're done laughing oh yeah um but so, no and and we'll we're gonna continue to do the coffee with vets um hopefully the weather will come down we'll do a little bit more advertisement on the next one yeah next month um you know we'll be able to to do that we're doing them one saturday a month every month until the day we can't do it anymore so yep. and uh we we want to thank uh, the awakenings our next door neighbor absolutely um, the best coffee in the valley so i want to get your guys input on this so i'm thinking about doing two things at the shop the first thing i want to do is an after school program starting with middle uh, uh middle school age kids we're going to do a a uh an after school reading and art program at the shop. It would just be anywhere from an hour to two hour segment, mm-hmm. uh, a Monday through Friday type thing. Probably, I mean, we'd probably start off slow at maybe only three times a week, but we want to think, uh, we want you guys to, uh, uh, your input on what you guys thought about that. Make sure to uh, uh, leave a comment for us, give us a thumbs up if you think that'd be a good idea. We think that uh, right. uh, we provide a safe environment for kids to swing by. Um, yeah, be, they can read about the book, talk about it, yeah. you know, you know, really get people invested in, you know, talking about the the creation of a book from start to finish. It's not just, you know. Well, we'll get, and, and we'll, you know, they, uh, they'll get a book out of it and the yeah. whole nine. So uh, we really strongly think about that. The other thing. <laughs> we want to do <laughs> w, we want to do WWE wrestling at the shop. Yes. Like legit, uh, like where we get like a ring, not just like broadcasting it on the TV. Oh, yeah. 
And then uh, the other thing is uh, we wanted to do, uh, uh, and uh, I've had some pushback on it, but I am definitely thinking about moving forward sometime next year. Was uh, I'll speak to our neighbor about it first, maybe even partner up with her, but I want to put a uh, coffee bar in the shop. I want a, a uh, I want to have a coffee machine in there, you know, so Kevin can wear his bikini top and earn some tips and sell a couple, uh, you know, sell some coffee and uh, have a little sit down reading area for people. So I really want to push that. Uh, I think that it would be, I know that there is some opposition to that, but I think that it might mm -hmm. be an actual, uh, a great thing. Uh, we're not going to rush into it, but I want to talk to people about it and see what they think okay. about it. Because I think a coffee shop at the shop, oh yeah, Daddy Decker. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Parents are gonna have to come get them. But I'm th I really am thinking about having that at the shop, having a little coffee, uh, uh, a little coffee bar type thing at the shop. Mm -hmm. um, the the shop has been really slow. If we don't do anything, if yeah. we don't do anything different, the shop is gonna shut down. Yeah. And if things saying, hey, let's just keep doing the same thing over and over again, that's not gonna right. work. No. We've got so we to, have to do something. We've got different. to try to find ways because yeah. it is it has been our slowest month in a very long time, yeah. which is you know definitely stressful on on the owners coming up to the holidays and all that other stuff, which mm -hmm. is where you hope to be making extra sales because of the holiday. Right. Um. So, uh, you know, it's I it just is I, what it is. It's. I, I think it might be a different dynamic at the shop. I think that it would be worthwhile trying. But uh, I think that it has to be executed, right? Yeah, have to have so. the right area for it, the right space, make sure people aren't mm -hmm. spilling things and whatnot. But you know what? At one point or another, uh, Barnes, and Normal, uh, Barnes and Noble's been doing it for decades. That's probably why Barnes and Noble has stayed uh, open for as long as they have. Well, they also do their stuff on consignment, so. Yeah, that's true. So. Yeah, they don't really have to worry about uh, uh, yeah. if something well, doesn't if they sell. Do, yeah, they yeah. just send it back. <laughs> So, you uh -huh. know, but again, they also have like a little cafe area, which mm -hmm. is where, you know, and, 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 and we've talked about this extensively. I'm not saying I'm yeah. against it. I just want to make sure that we have the right space for it. Yeah. So well, think, uh, what do you guys think about it? Would you sit down at a coffee shop that is also your comic book shop? Would you do that? What do you guys think? Uh, do you think... I mean, obviously, we'd have more than just successful. coffee, you know, coffee, tea, yeah. other things. I wouldn't want to get like crazy and do like milkshakes no, and smoothies and stuff. No, I would no, want to keep no, it, you know, no, very no, basic. No, strictly coffee. Uh, yeah, coffee, coffee tea, tea type but, uh, stuff. Uh, I'm thinking we could do some theme stuff, you know, like, I don't know, whatever. Some Incredible yeah. Hulk themed coffee. Yeah, or, when it's that strong stuff like my mom brought. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, my mother in law, man. She brought, <laughs> She bought this coffee that legit puts hair on your chest. I was yeah. like, God. And damn. she's like a three cup yeah. every day. I'm like, and I'm it? like, yo. I was like, good Lord. <laughs> it is yeah. definitely stronger than the coffee we had at the house. Yeah, so. like, man, you'll be doing jumping jacks, push ups, exactly. backflips. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, you know what, Sith? Honestly, my if I had the money. Here's what I would want. I would want to be able to take our shop and put it in an area where we could have like a coffee tea bar by day, afternoon, like brewery type situation. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't want it to be a full on bar. I would want it to be more of a brewery type feel. Yeah. Um mainly because I don't want to try to even attempt to get a liquor license um, with the strict laws that are in Alaska with them. What's uh, the rule What's the rule with uh, selling uh, beer and wine? Beer and wine, you can get approved for that as long as... Without a liquor license? Yeah, you just have to get a, a permit, and everyone gets those. Well, not everyone gets those, but it is much easier to get those. And it's just strictly a beer and, uh, a beer beer and, and wine. wine license. Yeah, beer and wine. It's like... Uh, like the grape tap they don't have a liquor license they just oh, do beer and wine right um so uh that was something that i would love to like okay well in the afternoon and on the weekends you know hey we can stay open a little bit later like if people are there doing the because i'd want a space big enough to where we could also host like the gaming tournaments like the pokemon the dungeons and dragons and magic and all of that other stuff now I understand the fact that I just said those three things, that not all of those people are drinkers. Most of them, quite honestly, are not. However, I believe that more people would come in 
and maybe either watch or participate or if like the parents that brought the kids to like play the game they could sit and have a beer while they waited on their kid or something i feel like that would be like a a cool environment so the other thing i've been thinking about because we've got that space you guys have seen the the uh the secret door there you know the uh uh where's that at here our uh where is it at the super chat thing that I have set up? Uh, is it this one? Nope. No, it's oh, not there. I, I know it's here. Hold on, let me see. That says super chat. Yeah, right here. That let me one, see. Yeah. <laughs> Austin. I haven't seen that in a while. It was good to rewatch but that. That room back there, I want to do something with that. I think you would have some issues with minors around, even just the beer. You, you it's would just need like a, a separate area. Yeah, you're but it's right. just like a regular restaurant, like yeah, the so Grape different. Tap. Yeah. You know, you just have to be you have to be cautious of who is drinking. Is what it is. And and as the server, because I have my Taps card, as the server, you have to ensure that you know you're serving the person that's over 21, and that you know they understand. Hey, that. They can't. And and again, it would be very, I, I would want it to be, I would want it to be a very just chill vibe. I don't want it to be like a party area per se, but I want it to where someone, like a couple of dudes can come meet up, get their book, sit around and chat and like have that beer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Um, I, I don't want it to be like a party mentality, but I want it to be like the, oh, we can relax. We can talk about these books. We can even, you could even do date nights, you know, where we did like a paint night at the shop and people can have a beer or a glass of wine while you're doing a paint night or something like that. You know, that. Well, I've been thinking about doing an open mic uh, after hours at the shop too, to see how that goes, you know, uh, do like a competition with little buy-in and stuff and, you know, uh, you know, hundred dollar, hundred dollars to the winner type thing. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever. But uh, maybe doing like an open mic, do like uh, some rap battles at the shop. Oh, you think Lord. I'm messing around, man? I'm dead serious. He is dead yeah, serious. Yeah, I'm dead serious about yeah. that, man. We get a DJ and uh, um, have open mic. Maybe even have some DJ battles. Have some DJ battles at the shop. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we need to do this here sooner than later. That we can do. Oh, my Atlanta. And then. You know, and the, there'll be a little, you know, a, 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 a door fee for them to come in, but the door fee would continue uh, would contribute to the door prize, right? You know what I'm saying, uh, or to to the prize, right? Uh, for for the competitors, but man, I'm, I'm thinking we should do that sooner than later. Hip hop, hip hop, and and comic books go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. I mean, some of the 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 most popular comic books that I've ever sold have been uh, hip hop based, like uh, well, like this ridiculousness with the Eminem cover. Um, but, but you like, had all remember, those. Uh, remember all the uh, hip hop covers. Yeah, you know? that came out that that are yeah. that are very. They are They're not easy really to cool find. Though. They're very cool. The fact that they did the you know remakes and stuff. Um, they're very difficult to find. Those ones yeah. are you know really really cool. Um, and again, it's yeah. at, at this point, you guys. We are really just trying to come up with with ideas to get people in the door you know that is that is the hope that's the the hope and the prayer yeah the um, uh, uh what might what, what michael yim was talking about uh so you guys know i'm in real estate now and every so often they'll list on the actual mls uh uh liquor licenses mm-hmm. well liquor businesses and uh, he is correct there so you figure let's say like a liquor license when you first get it from the abc board mm-hmm. um Alaska, uh, Jesus, the Alcohol Beverage Control Board, which is now actually like the Alcohol Beverage Marijuana Control yeah. Board, right? But uh, um, uh, let's say that it costs a thousand dollars, right? Because of the fact that they're limited, people will sell pre-existing ones, and it's pretty complicated because even though they sell you the pre-existing one, you still have to qualify with the board and yep. there's certain locations. Those licenses, like the ones in um, in Anchorage, are selling for 350000 to 500000 a minimum. piece. Minimum, yeah, minimum. 
Yeah, the and lowest that's, and that's for I've a seen is full blown. That's a full blown liquor license. Yeah, that's a full blown liquor license, and that may not include the the facility. Yeah, and the equipment. That's because they the do. License. They only allow so many per state. Yeah. And, but I mean, that's true. That's true, Sith. Like if you if yeah. we had like the servers in in cosplay. In cosplay. To, yeah, I think I think if we start off. With the co- coffee bar first. Kevin's gonna have to wear like a you know. And, and Kevin, a Kevin, Kevin has agreed. Uh, and w- uh, obviously, we we have to um, ensure that he's protected at all times. So Kevin has agreed to do the uh, crop top and the Daisy Dukes. Ooh. So yeah, uh, he as he, long as and agreed. I want him to do that because he does a really good catwalk. He does yeah, a really catwalk good catwalk. Is it is off the chain. Um, there, there's not many, um, you know, Tyra Banks called us about it and I wanted to know where he got his lessons from because yes. that it, w- it was so inspiring. So, you know, you guys know that we have to protect him at all costs. He's a national treasure. Emotional damage. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, um, you know, we're just we're trying to think of whatever we can do to, you know, help get us through this little this little section of life that we're in right now but uh, you know what's cool though uh uh for those of you that wonder how comic book shops survive and stuff like this has been a big lesson for us like uh it's no one at our shop is doing anything wrong no it's just the the circumstances that you can't control uh extreme weather conditions yeah i'm not going to ask my employees to drive when it's unsafe on the road yeah and if people want to be get pissy with us because we're not open because there's a insane storm out then they can get pissy with us because again i am never going to i'm never going to even be worried about my employee driving into work but it's the you know it causes a a, the trickle effect a trickle effect because then you can't afford to a ripple uh, ripple. ripple, yeah, well, ripple. trickles down. R- ripple trickles effect. down. Ripple yeah, yeah, effect. The, the ripple or. effect. Because what ends up happening is that now, uh, if you don't have any revenue coming in, then you can't afford to buy the items from your suppliers that mm-hmm. bring the people to the shop in the first place, or even get your or, employee there because you have to be able to um, yeah pay them. So. But if people aren't buying anything, then you know, and it's one of those you know, all that stuff adds up really quickly. And there's there's a lot of the costs that people don't think about. You know, there's there's electricity, there's Wi-Fi, there's, mm-hmm. you know, all of these other things that add up, you know, there that just, you well, know. Well, just the heating costs for that. Because <laughs> when, when it's negative 20 and you're in a, you're in a building. Where people are opening shop, and closing a door. Opening and, and closing doors, yeah. Yeah, and it's an old building, so you know it doesn't yeah. retain. It actually does a pretty good job with its heat retention, and it. But at the same time, you, there's nothing you can do for you know twenty below and a door opening and closing. Which hopefully, I'd be okay with paying a little bit more heat if the door was opening and closing because I had a bunch of customers coming in and out. Like that's one of those I would take. I would I would take the L on that. Yeah, our our. I am leaning very strongly towards the coffee shop. I, what I don't know is if I want to run the shop directly myself or if I just want to sublet it and uh, see if uh, uh, our neighbor wants to just run an internal one there. And uh, uh, there's ways of compensating our employees through 1099, all kinds of stuff. There's all these workarounds, but nonetheless, there's so many ways to skin this cat. But I'm really leaning towards now uh, getting the coffee going in the shop. So that's that's been my thing because I think it's just one more thing to bring people to the shop. The big thing, though, is uh, the after-school program. Also, mm-hmm. the uh, uh, having some more events at the shop. Events really bring people in. Right. I strongly recommend uh, everybody watch over and over. I always tell people my favorite uh short film that i've ever watched well it's not really a short film but it if it's, it's like, like a documentary hours, it's a documentary was uh um oh my god what was it it was called uh uh, uh midwest panels midwest panels and midwest they went to like panels. four was, different shops i was literally watching that nightly uh, recovering from uh every shoulder surgery night 
And this woman showed up, was like, what are you doing? I'm like, man, we're getting ready to open up a comic book shop. And she's like, you need another Percocet. And I was like, nah. We no, legitimately. Shop. When he told me he wanted to open the shop, the first thing yeah. I asked him is if he wanted another Percocet. But uh, I have no regrets, man. Uh, no. And uh, and we're not we're not person? done fighting. Like, we're not done fighting. I don't want people to think, you know, that that we're throwing in any towel or anything. We are not done fighting. We are trying to figure out how to how to keep going forward. That's if anyone creative. if anyone out there, you know, has like a, a rich uncle that <laughs> just, you know, wants to be like, oh, here's fifty thousand dollars. You guys go figure your shit out. Like, I'm not. We- yeah, yeah, we we would definitely accept that. Yeah, any yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look, I I am dedicated and I appreciate our shop. I will do what I got to do. I mean, I'm not talking the Nicolas Cage movie. Uh, what was that? Uh, Viva, not Viva Las Vegas. What's the one where the the rich guy offers them in in Vegas to? Oh, that's a that, that's a uh, indecent, indecent proposal. proposal. Like we're not going that hard. We're not going that hard. And that was probably not the right term to use for that. We're not going we're not going that crazy. But I'm I mean <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on, let me stop that. <laughs> I mean, X twenty three, she got the right idea. She she popping it like it's hot back there. Look at her. She's like, yeah. Her and I both. Like, I'll wear the X twenty three outfit. <laughs> Who's got a rich uncle? Or cousin? friend not happening. space force <laughs> just say it no i think uh um i think uh next year which is going to be in what a week and a half uh t- yeah 10 or 11 12 days because yeah. i go to i go back to work on the 26th so yeah. two weeks yeah two we weeks. i think January, we're coming out swinging with something new. We're going to do our best. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Also, uh, for those of you that have been uh, 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 looking at our social media, yes, Comic-Con is still yeah moving forward uh, uh, for 2023. We've got the Menard Center. Please make sure if you haven't already purchased your booth, take advantage of that now with that early bird special. The prices will go up next year. Especially as we start getting closer to the mm-hmm. show, uh, there's only I think like 58 booths left. So please make sure if you're gonna buy your booth, now's the time to get it. It's a 10 by 10 booth. You can uh, visit us on our website, the uh, AgesComicsAlaska.com. That's AgesComicsAlaska.com. I don't know why none of my pop-up stuff is working right now, but we'll get it to work. We've eventually. been we've been having some technical issues yeah. from the get-go with this bad boy. But you know, <laughs> with that being said. Uh, Oh, let me see. Yeah, it should be popping up. I don't know why it's not. But yeah, anyway. That's all right. Uh, the um, Once again, I would, I would tell people, you know, uh, please consider participating in, as a vendor at that event. Yeah. Uh, it is a safe event, in ter- both financially and just, yeah, and if As if we whole, continue to see the growth growth that we have seen from mm-hmm. year one to year two, you know, year three is going to be even better than last year. And we had, you know, a great turnout last year for something that is still in its infancy. That's true. So you know, this is this is the time to get you know set up, get used to what this con is. So that way, and then you know, year four and five of this con and you already know the ropes and and you know all the different stuff you're gonna be way ahead of the game it's worth it if you've thought about it if you have stuff you think you want to sell if you you know do art or whatever like comic book you know or or i guess i should say uh, how do i say this Uh, it's got to be theme related to you know our stuff like it's not like we're gonna have someone in there selling like bouquets of flowers you know, that kind of shit. Um, but yeah, if you've thought about it, like hit us up, you know, get that booth. Um, 10 by 10. 10 by 10, baby. Um, you know, like I said, uh, it's going to be great. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah. Uh, just to recap, just one more time, I want to say it. If uh, we are going to have wrap presents under the tree at the shop, if you That's need right. something, 
if you are unable to to have a gift to give to your kids or you know significant person in your life and you need something please come to the shop i mean i'm not saying that we're giving away you know gigantic keys and all the other stuff it but we we will put out what we can no, and we gonna, will it, 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 you know be some nice stuff it's gonna be nice stuff i just don't want people to be like well i want that graded book on the wall like no like it's oh, not no, no, <laughs> we're, not doing, not, we're no. not doing that we're not doing that but just just to like you know manage expectation and stuff there's gonna be wrapped gifts under the tree yeah and uh, that we are yeah. giving with no expectation so yeah yeah all right she's tired she's she's mm-hmm. rambling now i am i'm sorry i've been i've been going 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 so <laughs> guys uh take this moment to get ready for spine ticks coming go refresh up next. Your tit- your f- go refresh your drinks i was gonna say ticks and because you were saying spine ticks don't even look at me like that it's not what i was gonna say or was i go refresh your drinks <sighs> go you know get ready f- emotional damage you married me uh you know, get ready for spine ticks. Enjoy. Um, next Saturday is Christmas Eve. We will see if we are doing a show next Saturday. We'll kind of play that by ear as things get closer. Yeah. Uh, more than likely we will. Um, but if if not, if something happens, I just wanted to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Uh, I want to thank everyone that continues to support our shop. We love and appreciate every single one of you so very much. We are so very blessed and thankful in so many ways. Uh, Also, if you haven't got that last minute Christmas present, come hit us up. All right, Uh, guys. All that fun stuff. You have a good one. We will see you next week.